tour group, but there were representatives of the parking authority, the mayor, uh, everybody was invited to understand what the proposals were, and we don't really quibble with anything that, you know, uh, Attorney Uffberg said. Uh, uh, and what we wanted to do is let um, everybody, we went through this with the authority members last night, but it's an important enough issue that we want everybody to understand sort of what the response was, because there were three things that became very clear from this. Um, number one, we have a process where uh, everybody involved, um, from their own perspective, wants to do the right thing. And everyone at this table, and I'm sure out there, has integrity that they bring to this, and so the challenge was to make sure that there was integrity in the process. That is why we got all the responses, everybody had the same call, and what we wanted to do was, whether Laz is in or out, you know, that's an authority decision. We thought it was appropriate, at least as we talked to the mayor <coughs> and hear from city council, which we did last night, to let everybody see what was in these proposals. And, because here's what we found, and this is the exciting part. It was not an RF request for proposals. That's not what we did. That's very rigorous, very regimented. This was what we call a request for qualifications. The purpose of that is to not find out what the assets are worth, but find out, almost as you raised in our last meeting, if we want $20 million, is anybody interested? The answer was yes. Matter of fact, there were six parties that said yes, and we can, uh, we'll can we briefly run through that now. Let me let you get copies of this. I know the authority members have it. Pass up, pass up. Okay, he passes that to the people. Sure. Line that so everybody gets a copy. And then, uh, or Murray, if you, six responses, as he said, five were timely, one was uh, 90 minutes late. We then, as I mentioned briefly, uh, June 12 to 15, we had 45 minute calls with each respondent. It's important to remember that in the request for qualification, sort of the idea is, as you know, you had alluded to when we last met, if we're kind of looking for $20 million and they don't really think it's worth it, why would they spend the time to respond? So either we'll get no responses or we'll get some. Well, we got six. In addition, and this is something we'll hand out as well, we got after the June 12th to June 15th discussions when our chairman asked, well, tell me what you think it's worth. And the, the, the respondent said, you didn't ask us that question in the RFQ. And we didn't. We just said this was our goal but we didn't ask you to tell us what you thought the assets were worth. If you want to know that, let me get back to you. And as you'll see, two of the respondents have with the conclusion that, that as we structured it, uh, it, they can be worth $20 million. Uh, the no questions uh, are the list of respondents, and I want you all to uh, see who they are. We have an outline more specific on 11 key data points of each of the bidders. Uh, Central Parking is about the largest parking manager in North America. They actually have merged with uh, standard parking as of two months ago. They now have uh, two million parking spaces <coughs> under management. 
they chose to answer the RFQ for Wilkes-Barre. NW Financial and Bostonia Group, uh, as Mr. Upberg alluded, they actually came up um, with a proposal that was echoed in a second of the six responses. And it really was this. Rather than turning everything over to a private manager to run, as we had originally thought in the RFQ, what they had proposed was an idea that we've seen in other settings, but we hadn't seen here. A public-public partnership, not a public-private partnership. And we'll talk a little bit about what that would really mean as they propose keeping the assets in public hands rather than putting them completely in the hands of a private company. Uh, Duncan Solutions is actually the uh, largest uh, uh, provider of um, uh, on-street parking services uh, in the country. They, uh, yeah, they are the largest one. They, they responded, again, they are, parking meters is what they know, garages is not a strength of theirs. So as Mr. Upward said, they might not be able to handle the whole thing themselves. Guggenheim Securities, the fourth bidder, they actually came up with this public, public partnership idea again. And, and what's beautiful about that is that in the RFQ, we are trying to create a structure and enough confidence that Wilkes-Barre wants to do something to improve the parking experience that the best in the country, and, and you'll find in the world, are interested in what we have here. And we were successful in doing that. That's how we got the responses. And then, without being tied to any specific way to go going forward, we get to pick what's best for Wilkes-Barre. The uh, fourth proposal is the Ontario Teachers Pension Plan paired with uh, Impart, Imperial Parking, which is, uh, uh, they manage garages in New York, San Francisco, Baltimore, all for cities, and the, it's sort of the Teachers Pension Fund, just like for Pennsylvania, only for Ontario, Canada. And then the sixth one was last parking. That proposal was 70 minutes late, and it sounds like the parking authorities uh, sense an excellent firm who has won the concessions in a number of places and does a fine job for the parking authority, but I get the sense from Murray's comments that the parking authority is not willing to consider their response. So of the five responses, the issuance of the RFQ, as it says uh, on here, was really to test the interest and the creativity of the market. And based on the quantity and the quality of the responses that we got, there is substantial interest in Wilkes-Barre's parking. And two respondents have stated, actually one we just got the information uh, last night, during last night's meeting, uh, the other one we got, I think, this week. Two have stated that the assets have a $20 million upfront value for a 30-year concession period. Which um, is how I um, The two are Central Parking and NW Financial. And I'll give you a copy of what they, what they stated just so everybody can be transparent. He directed that right at Mark. Yes, sir. Uh, two of the respondents who were going to give a number said, we can't give that until we get the uh, uh, Desmond parking study completed, which has not been completed as of yet. Uh, and uh, the RFQ, and this is important, in the RFQ, the city and the authority retained the right to change our process however we seem fit. And so the challenge is, with the opportunity for a public-public partnership, and let me just then spend the last two minutes that I have explaining a little bit about what that is. It's a little bit of a, a new idea. I don't expect everybody to, to follow all of it. But what it does is it takes um, the assets and keeps them in public hands. So the idea would be that a new authority, municipal authority, under the Municipal Authorities Act 1945, would be set up to consolidate all of the city's parking efforts under that. Everything from the intermodal, lot six, you know, the garages and the meters would all be under this one entity. This new authority would, could have members from the parking authority, certainly members from the, from the public, city council, uh, uh, but it has to be a distinct entity from the parking authority in the city. That's why the parking authority can't do this themselves because part of it is an acquisition of the assets. This entity would basically issue 30-year bonds, just like the city does. Although it's important to note, the city would not guarantee this, nor would the parking authority. Uh, the, this alternative structure, according to NW Financial and the numbers we have here, support a $20 million deal, uh, and the bonds would be, the way they tried to structure it, A-rated, which is a little, about the same as the city, maybe a little stronger. 
and it ensures that the key decisions regarding the city's parking assets remain in <coughs> public hands, not private hands. And if the goal of this, one goal of this is to raise money for infrastructure and public safety, this is a way to achieve the revenue goals that were set forth uh, while uh, obtaining a lot of these other public policy goals that we have. Uh, we have questions? I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. I'm, I'm done. Thank you, sir. No, the only question I have, I just briefly heard of this last night, and I looked it up on the internet. The only place I saw they have public public partnerships are water companies. Yeah, that's, a, that's and, an excellent you, example. You're going to start something new with parking when there's no such entity out there? Well, to, to be honest, it's interesting, but the parking authority is a type of public public partnership. In other words, a public-public partnership is government saying, you know what, the city saying, this is a little bit more specialized than I'm built to handle, and I'm going to have somebody who wakes up every day doing this do it, and I'm going to have an entity that does that. So at one level, the parking authority is a way where, rather than the city saying to LAS, you take it over, they years ago said to the parking authority, we want you to run it for the public, which the parking authority, certainly under this regime, has done a super job of. The challenge is, for this deal, the way it works is we actually acquire the assets of the city and the parking authority has to manage it for tax reasons. So the parking authority would not be able to do that. But that is actually a traditional public public partnership. What was discussed last night at the meeting that the public couldn't be there? Obviously, there's something that Leighton wanted to tell you that he wanted to keep from the public. What was that? Okay. I'm going to take a vote on this, okay? We're going to get a five-minute uh, comment from the public only to our queue only. So anybody that wants to have any questions to the our queue only. Yeah, but five, five minutes. But he just discussed that. Do you have any questions on that? But yeah, my question is, obviously this was discussed <coughs> last night at the meeting. What was discussed there that, that reporters and the public couldn't be part of? We're discussing everything that is right now, not last night. Well, I have a right to ask the question that I want to ask. And you held a meeting last night outside of the Sunshine Laws, and I want to know what it was about. You do not feel that it was outside the Sunshine Laws. Well, you might feel that way, but most people do. I don't know who most people are. So they don't consider your view to be most people. But I will say this to you. I do, do not, most people? I do not, I do not, we do not believe that what was done last night, the media was called uh, on a matter involving policing, <coughs> we do not believe that it was outside the Sunshine Law, and we have adequate, uh, adequate authority for that. There's clear appearance of impropriety, okay? You, you kept the reporters out, you kept the public out, so what was discussed? Are you under a gag order by late? Is that it? Who paid for that meeting, by the way? Consultants and lawyers? Was it the authority or the city directly? I want to make a comment. Can I make a comment on the role of the RFQ Bob? Hey, RFQ Bob only. Okay. What's, my comment is, I'm going to ask you, you're going to take a vote on whether to do this or not do it, correct? Today? Yes. Yes, we yes. Okay. See how many citizens are here? If we had this meeting at nighttime, you'd need the grand ballroom. Everybody's against this. This is a scam, in my opinion. A scam. The mayor of this city is a liar. He is oh, a liar. Oh, just keep things on all right, you want, no, I'm just, hold it. You have to let me make my presentation. I have five minutes. This takes us back to 2005, where I warned them what would happen with the towing contract. Bid terms are a scam. It wasn't going to cost nobody nothing more. And that's what's going to happen here if you just move forward with this. Just an example, what's going to happen. What about holidays with this situation for parking? What about weekends? Are they going to be able to park in me or the whole city? When the mayor said, on a towing, it's not going to cost nothing, nobody, nobody anything more. Nothing more. Nothing. The rates aren't going to go up. It's not like this guy's going to charge $200 a tow. Well, here, $9, $15, here, $10, $400. Here's one from, from March, $375. Here's another one, $200. Here's another one, $300, $75, $400.
It's not going to cost nobody nothing more. Four hundred dollars. Three seventy-five. Three seventy-five. Well, it's costing seventy and seventy-five dollars. That's why I'm saying this thing is a scam. Here's another one. Four hundred dollars. Three seventy-five. Four hundred dollars. Three seventy-five. Here's another one. Three seventy-five. And here's one. An accident. Routine accident. I'm just trying to make my point. Okay. From three sixteen twelve. It's not going to cost you nothing more if you get your car towed. Just like it's not going to cost nothing more if this scam goes through. Here's one from North Main Street. $450 to tow a car. Uh, well, no, but here, here, I'm making my point. Uh, please respect me. Okay. Right, can, right, can I just finish on this? Just let me finish, please. There's a lot of work to get done. I understand, but I'm a citizen, and I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm trying to be nice. All I'm saying is this. On behalf of the citizens, and if you had re read on the, uh, the internet <clears throat> the negative comments, I, I can't tell you how many were. There were dozens. Please don't go forward with this. This is a scam. You didn't know about the campaign contribution. You didn't know about J.J. Murphy. The time to end this is now. It's a scam. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. He has a question. Chris O'Donnell. Any more discussion? Just this one. I'll be brief. Just my one concern is if we do a, a $20 million lease for 30 years, whatever the numbers come out to be, if the $20 million is spent on current